Coach, what was most glaring from an execution standpoint in that fourth quarter? But, you know, I thought we turned it over a little bit early in the fourth, but, uh, you know, we a part of it is just missing shots tonight, you know, and so we make shots we normally make, we get to our spots, we, you know, and, you know, maybe it's a different outcome, but then that always leads me to what could we control? So you always look at your mistakes. Uh, execution of both ends defensively made probably too many errors if you're not going to shoot the ball as well as we normally do, and, and some of those errors cost us. Uh, four losses in a row. I know every game is is unique, but have you noticed any commonalities? It's a, a sign of something that you know you want to clean up in these final five games. I mean, I think the what we're seeing right now is we get down to these these games. We're playing high quality teams that want to win for playoff seeding. Um, you know, it's it's a little bit of an uncharted territory for this group. So this is good for us, you know, frankly. You know, we, we all want to win every night, and I would have much preferred to win tonight. But um, some adversity, some uh, some higher level competition is, is, I think, what this team needs going into a playoffs. We have, you know, no, no common experiences together in that setting. And so these are a little bit of a dress rehearsal when you're playing playoff teams, that teams that need wins that are, you know, really coming out to try to win these games and, and play at a high level. So this is good for us. The adversity is good for us. We're going to face adversity in the playoffs. And without having some adversity, you know, now, you know, it may, it may not afford us as much as going through this adversity. Bruce Beck with NBC New York. Steve, how do you balance getting ready and getting healthy here at the end of the regular season with kind of, looking ahead at the big picture, which is, you know, the playoffs. Well, we, we're just trying to get better every day. You know, we can't really control the injuries. We're, we're getting healthy bodies back. We got the most guys I think we've had all year right now uh, that are available, so that's positive. Trying to figure out some rotations and combinations. Uh, obviously, James comes back at some point and changes everything again, but, um, you know, we're, we're trying to just get better. We're trying to get more familiar with what we're trying to do, try to get – you know, better at our principles and get a better understanding between one another. As, as I said, you know, a lot of these teams have been to the playoffs two, three, four years in a row. Uh, we're just getting to know each other. A lot of our guys have missed a lot of the season. So trying to gain that that understanding, that continuity is, is what we're after right now. We're going through a, a, a tough stretch. We're not playing really well, not playing really sharp. We're right in it today. We had our chances for sure. We've had our chances the last three games. Um, so what is it that can get us over the hump? I think the first thing is for us to continue to stay strong mentally, to, to pick, each, pick each other up, to realize we've got a lot of work to do. We keep working. We don't let this take the wind out of our sails, and we'll improve and get better.